Raymond. Raymond White Sanchez. Man, I miss him. But I know him. I know him real, real good. Doesn't talk much. Doesn't say much. He doesn't have to. When he does, he just talks about that dream. The uh, dream. His dream. His perfect picture. Playing his sound on Raymond's world. On oceans. Just traveling. His sound. Traveling through the breeze. Just shedding light. New days on his day. His world. That uh, perfect dream. And here we are with the main star, Josh. That's right. Raymond White Sanchez, aka Josh Lamboy, vice versa, whichever way you want it. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on your work and on John's work in general? It's really hard as an actor to really appreciate your work. You see that and you always know there's things you can do better. But luckily John was just one of those that he just really let me go for it. Just press record and he's like, make it happen. And luckily we trust each other. I trust him as a director, he trusts me as an actor. And it, it came out pretty good. Many people when they Look at this rusted, worn out piece of junk. They think junk. But what many people don't think about is sound. Hi, here we are at Fast Food, a film by John Craven. And who are you? My name is Natalia Para, and I play Katrina in the film. Like Katrina, I see. And uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your character. Um, I am Hector's girlfriend, and Raymond lives with us. What did you think of the uh, overall final product? I thought it was it was very dramatic. It was like almost like a Shakespeare tragedy, and I was like, oh, like I, I had emotion for the character, which is good. Come on, it's been more than three weeks. Man. He's a busy man working Hector, hard. Hector, stop shut up. Him. Clubs, are you talking shut about up. anyway? Honey, why should I shut up? I like hearing Raymond play, and I think other people would like it too. Whatever he does, Maybe it's a trumpet. it blows a fat one. Well, if you actually listen to it, you could understand. No, I understand that it blows a fat one. And here we are with one of the stars of the film. What's your name, sir? My name is Harry Sturgo. Harry, who did you play? I played Mr. Sakum, Conrad Sakum, the manager. Anyway, what what did you think of the final product? I really enjoyed it. I really liked how it came out. Uh, the editing was uh, really fun. The popping back and forth. I think he did an excellent job. Raymond, are you in here? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm in the bathroom, sir. What what about my floors that you were supposed to clean? Raymond, we have goals to achieve. It. Oh man, Raymond, we have deadlines to meet. People to serve. Think about the people's food, Raymond. Here we are with Tad Sharp, the unscrupulous taxi driver. What's your favorite part of the film? Favorite part of the film was at the end when he starts getting beat up and he heads up and he's just like disoriented. Oh, that's beautiful. That was well shot, I think. Um, do you have any uh, further intentions or plans to work with John? As soon as John figures out what movie he's going to be in next, I'm going to be at the beginning of the audition line on that one because this man makes some incredible productions, he really does. He certainly does. You still have to audition. I mean, I think you did a pretty good job in there. I like auditions. It's just one of those things. God. She can see, man. It's one class idiot. Yeah. Jesus. Hey, I'm right. That's so how you going to pay for this, man. Oh, um, cash? Yeah, what cash? What kind of cash are you talking about? Say some fucking homeless shelter. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, well, I've been saving about a, a dollar a day for the for the past year. So, uh, we'll accept my expenses hmm, from Let me see it. Oh, wait, I got I. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Welcome to Hector's Castle. Yeah. Looks like a four-star resort in here, huh? <laughs> That's the kitchen. 